<laughs> right, we're at the show. Uh, first day is Tuesday. Um, it's fairly early and we thought we'd pop over to Bailey Stand. We always seem to start with Bailey anyway. But they've got the new look Adamo here and uh, I had a quick look at it. We had a look at its spinnies, didn't we? Yeah, but, the uh, 694. We thought we'd uh, show you this. We haven't shown you the bit from spinnies yet, have we? So no. We thought we'd have a look at this little one, the 60-2. Is it 60-2? I think so. It's 60, definitely. I probably got that wrong. That would be a good start. A good start, it? yeah. Yeah. So let's go and have a look. Because got the new cab on the front, haven't they? Yeah, and I really like the new look. Yeah. And a really nice sort of. What colour is that? Sort of a grey brown metallic. No, it doesn't match your jumper. Oh. <laughs> And uh, it's quite a handsome van. Let's just see if we get a better shot of it. There we are. Yeah, quite a handsome looking van, isn't it? Yeah, it is 62. And I really like the, the short version of this. <laughs> the storage space is obviously going to be a problem. But, uh, you know, if, you, if you're sensible, then there is a bit of storage space in here. So it's 3,500, obviously. Uh, payload is 673. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, with a smaller van? Yeah, and it, it's uh, six, just over six metres, 6.096 metres. Uh, it's 2.487 wide and nine foot five tall. But uh, you can see from the overhang here, it's absolutely tiny. The window on the back and the camera on the back there. Let's go and have a look inside because that's what you really want to see. I think, I think they'd fin finish cleaning, hopefully. Oh, there's a table down here. But what you do get, <laughs> as you can see, is a portable table. So we've gone back to this idea of a portable table rather than having the, the big table in the middle. I don't yeah. know if that's the thing on the other ones, but... I don't think so, no. It wasn't on the 69.4, they no. still had the table. But it does make it more flexible for a smaller van. Yes, provided it's stored somewhere yeah. handy. Yeah, this is actually on the older version of the, the uh, Ford because it's got the original gear selector automatic, but they'll all be automatics with a rotary dial, won't they, when they, they come out. But, uh, it says it's got parking sensors. Did it have that originally? I don't remember. Um, yeah. No, it's a rear view camera. Now it's built into the screen, presumably. Yeah, that's the, what it's saying. Yeah. We just prefer this, you know, the trim than the original one. I think it looks that much smarter. Yeah, we've got this nice sort of uh, darker strip going yes. along it. Yeah. But this such a fit. <laughs> I keep saying it whenever I come in the Bailey is that there's such a feeling of space in here. Yes, yeah, because your bed's up here. Yeah. I mean, how many people could you fit on on this? Well, you could probably get three or four, three, four small ones anyway. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of headroom here. My head is just sort of brushing the top here. But that's uh, okay. And the bed comes right down, doesn't it? Yes. Well, that that was the thing I liked about it. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think this is a six-meter van. Well, certainly in the lounge, anyway. And they create a lot of space here with having this worktop. But you've got a full cooker there. Yeah. Because you've got the grill, grill haven't you? And, and the oven. oven. Yeah. And presumably, there's an electric hot plate in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice cooker. I'm doing a sew and moving on before you... It's <laughs> well, first day, isn't it? Excited. Great big cupboards. That's a good size cupboard. And a cupboard down there, and a cupboard down there. And you, you get a terrific fridge as well. You know, if you're looking at a camper van and uh, you're worried about space, this is definitely something you might want to consider rather than a camper van. No one could reach that cupboard. You can. You just reached it. Well, uh, yeah. You can't see what's in it. I can't see what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use a GoPro for that. TV up there. You can watch in bed. And there's your controls up there. And the bed's in its fully raised position. But you can see how far it comes down to just above there. It comes down there. to just above there. Yeah. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. 
There's so much, I think they're so much more reliable than when we had, I think we had uh, one of the first drop down beds, didn't yeah. we? You've got this flexi tap thing as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but. It's sprayed on the sofa. No. No. <laughs> well, that would be my worry, wouldn't it? Yeah, that it. You get, I suppose it's not going to. Yeah. Anyone who's got that, let us know how you get on it's with it. We'll be going for clever taps. <laughs> That's right, it? clever taps. It says it's pre wired for Wi Fi. Okay, yeah. I don't know where it is, but there's your TV aerial. And this, these cupboards go quite a way back. They're not, they're not particularly huge, but uh, you can fit a fair bit of stuff in there, I thought. As long as yeah. it's small. Yeah. Because that is the thing, where do you store things, isn't that? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look in the washroom. Again, bear in mind this is only a small van. There's a bit of a step up into the toilet. The toilet itself is on a, a plinth, so I suppose if you swivel it that way, you can look out the window whilst you're... <laughs> yeah, but it's more, more of a step than just a tiny bit either side, isn't it? Yeah. Nice bit of hanging space there, that's good. And it's tall as well. well that's and nice. more cupboards Shelves. there. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's pretty good. I love the shower. I mean, the, the that. shower has got two drain holes, one e drain either holes, side. Yeah. 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 It's got a, a thingy to pull down. And it's got this mistletoe motif in here now. And you've got a hanging rail. There's a bit of a curve in the thing, but that's really good shower, isn't it? Is it is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got no um, wheel in through. Well, you've got well, a, little, a little tiny bit, little bit. Little but, bit, yeah. Uh, you've but got all that space. Somewhere to put your soap, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah, nice. like the sink. Yeah. Like the mirror. God, I could do it with comb in here, couldn't I? <laughs> so where does the table live? That's the next. Oh right, okay. I haven't got that far. I'm still in. The, I'm still in the washroom. You're still in the washroom. I wondered if it was in there. Yeah. And you've got some shelves there and uh, a window. Apparently you can get frosting for the window. I don't know why it's not on there in the first place. but Yeah, but we always keep our blind down. Yeah, so true. true. Yeah, no, it's good, isn't it? Like no, I mean, the only reason I say where do you keep the table yeah. is because when we had that little bailey, yeah. It was in the wardrobe. I suspect it's under the. You sofa. think it's under there? Should yeah. 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 I mean, just looking under here, that's uh, more storage under there. But there's no travel seat with this, so it is strictly two berth. Yeah. So I was right. It's a sixty dash two. I think they did have a sixty dash four, but. I think they did. I think yeah. they had travel seats and, yeah, and a big they, table. That's right. Just have a quick look under there. Oh yeah, so yeah. you've got your electrics and another, another storage there. Yeah. I still don't know where you're putting your table, but... Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I quite like this. It, it is like the original compact, yeah. isn't it? But yeah. that's a... Yeah, I know. They've thought about this, haven't they? Yes. I suspect that probably goes in one of the lockers, but I don't know where. I mean, I think the original compact didn't have um, access outside, did it? No. That's what we found. So to do put anything in there, you had to yeah. lift it. But that's got yeah. a door on that side, of you? A door. Well, we'll, I'd like, we'll have, have a look. Shall we have a look outside? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 <Hiya>. Hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. What of all the places? You're looking very well. Thank How you. How are you doing? Fancy meeting them here. So there we go. Let's have a look. Can okay. you just close the door? I can't get that one to open. Can you, right. you do that one. Push it right in. That's it. That's it. You've got a click, hasn't it? Yeah, there you go. It's not huge, that, but it's there, isn't it? And yeah. it's access to it. So is the one the other side? Let's have a look. <laughs> yes, there's one on the other side. Yeah. It's down there somewhere. Blimey, could they get that any closer? Yes. Yeah, no, I like it's quite nice for two people, that. Of course, the other thing that's new here is the Bailey Endeavour B63. This is a new layout. It's not the one with the pop top. I, I, I said it was, a, it was quite... They say it's a new layout for them, and I think it is, but you know there are certain other manufacturers that uh, use this layout in the past, and I think it's a good one. 
So it's a B63, it's 70,995, it's on a Ford, uh, license friendly, payload is 581, mm. and it's under six metres long. And it's two for two people. And it's two people again, so a bit of a theme so far this morning. But Yeah, that's right. But yeah, so nice. It's more of a blue colour, this, this one, isn't it? Or the metallic blue. And it's new for 2025. I'll have a look at the back first. OK. Right, that's where they store the table here. Toilet in the back here. And fridge at the back there. That's quite nice. Pity the door doesn't. Well, I suppose it opens a reasonably wide. Open the other way. I suppose you couldn't really have that opening that way because you'd bang it on the door, wouldn't you? I was saying the fridge could do with being double door. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can um, get to it easily outside. That's right. But yeah, yeah. table's here. Got the winder handle there. I always keep thinking I've got to put my winder handle somewhere. Oh, they're floating around in the back. Come in. Hello. Two, two handles. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. There's someone else we yeah. might, you might recognise. Hello. <laughs> I was just walking past. I thought I'd come you and say, say hello. Hello. Yeah. hello. You're yeah. all right. <laughs> We're not the only ones who are starting with Baylor here at the, first, to, at the beginning. Okay, Tambador. Now, the Tambador here comes out into the area so if you're having yeah. a shower <laughs> it closes it off you can still get past it with a, a, a wiggle yeah. but obviously if you're not having a shower that goes all the way around there yeah, closes and off space. and opens up the space <laughs> it's a bit like one of those <laughs> Revolving doors, doors, isn't, isn't it? it? Well, yeah. it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Just thinking, how do you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, so to get into the toilet, close the tamber <laughs> door, and there you go. Yeah, there's a fair bit of space there. Enough leg room, anyway. Little cupboard there. Quite a shallow sink, but you've obviously got the the shower thing there. There, and there. I've got to figure out how to get out now. You've not trapped in there, are you? Yeah, I mean that's the thing, you, you, it's a bit of a shuffle round, but it's not a bad washroom because they brought it out into this area here. Yes. So once that's back in its, it's place, position you've there... you've got all that, yeah. Yeah, and the beauty of that, of course, is you're in the kitchen. Yes. So you can now bend down to get into the oven. What I'm, I'm noticing is the number of cupboards. I'm quite impressed with that because uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all these up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they're quite big cupboards, aren't no. they? They're not the tiny little things you often get on camper vans. No. And they're tall and fairly deep as well. I'm going to open every one now. There you go, there's your air room. And look at the workspace here. Mm. That is brilliant. It's good, isn't that? Yeah. And you've you've got another load of drawers there. You probably can tell that we are fans of <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> we do we do like Baileys. Really because of the they like this feeling of space in here, don't you? You've got your gas locker down there. Well, that'll only be for a little bottle, won't it? Yeah, it'd it's be a small it'd be a six, wouldn't it? Don't know if they've got one in there. It's, Oh, I don't know. No. You could fit six in there. Yeah. Because you're all gas on here, aren't you? Yeah, there's no electric hot plate. Can I open the wardrobe? Or? If you must. Oh, that's quite good. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you've got another one up here. 
that's good. They are You've good got quite covered. a good payload, haven't you? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Another one table, down here. Table here. Yeah. Sit down on this sofa. Now. Somewhere to put your remotes because your uh, yeah. TV's Le up there. Electrics are down there. Dedicated oh. area for a TV every night can be a movie night. <laughs> Don't know what does hmm? that's obviously swivels. Does the drivers? I suppose you don't need it to. You don't. Two of you can to, sit no. on here. No, they've got it pushed right forward. Again, the newer ones will probably come with a rotary automatic. This is one of the probably the prototype, isn't it? But look at the sofa here. It's huge. Yes. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, we were thinking it's a bit like the old auto auto sleeper. Symbol. symbol, but symbol, that yeah. isn't. They they have a seat there. They this have is, a seat. Yeah. This is more flexible. This is a, a moving stool, yeah, apparently. It's a stool, it says. Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out how it works. Yeah, you can lift that up, and then you've got another. And you can you can move this as well, apparently. Apparently, yes. Um, yeah. I think it seems to be attached a bit there, so I don't want to attempt to move it. No, no, but. Uh, it says it's a mobile footstool and hidden storage space. space. Okay, yeah. that's good. Now, what is yeah. really confusing me though is okay. I understand that it's a double here, yeah. Yeah. double bed. Yeah. On the blurb there, it's talking about single bed layout, and I'm thinking, how could you have a single bed? Well, just layout? on the sofa. Yeah, but for what? Just one person? Yeah. Does that mean? Yeah, just All right. if you just want to sleep there. But you pull, presumably, you pull this out. Let's yeah. have a look. I assume that's, yeah, because it's got the... Yeah, you, this whole thing pulls out, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, and that's your double bed. And that presumably goes up to there, and that will make your double bed with the... With that falls with that. down at the back. Yeah. Yeah, so when it says single bed, it just means if you want to yeah, just if you single just, bed. Yeah, well, you could just sleep on there, couldn't you, if yeah. it's just one of you? just one of you, So yeah. if you just get into a bit of fishing or something... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no I like I quite it. quite like this. Yeah, yeah. Feel, sometimes these little ones you can feel a bit squashed in them, can't yeah. you? Not a lot of space. But yeah. Oh, this is quite nice. Yeah. Well, well, I suppose we better go and have a look at something else now. Yep. Before I go, I'll just comment that uh, what they've done here with these seats is the seats are on the same level. If you can see that, they're on the same level. And it's actually quite comfortable sitting here. Sometimes you feel like your feet are dangling. Mm. But uh, I can put my feet out. Yeah. Quite comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, no. Stay here, I think. Yeah, so this is the Canaris van station. And they, we did have a look briefly at, at these at Dusseldorf. Uh, very interesting van. It's on a, a VW Bully, they call it there, and that's a T7 over here. And uh, it, it's a VW size cab, obviously, but with a coach built on the back so quite quite a short uh, length it's under six meters uh, 2.16 wide outside GRP roof uh, mass in running order is 3200 sorry a maximum mass is 3200 mass in running order is 2.6 again it comes with a Dometic and a LifePo battery that's, that's an option as well. Yeah. Easy net. These are probably locked on it. Oh no, that's. But you can't get in there. Cause can't get in there because. Display. <laughs> you should have a quick peep in there. Looks a reasonable size garage. We'll have a look at it from the other side. But yeah, the, people were crawling all over these at Dusseldorf, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. Nice little sofa there. <laughs> it does feel like the cab is down on the floor. Which it because of is. the lower cab, yeah. yeah. I'd be worried about cracking my head on that. Yeah. See, it's a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. You're in. Yeah, you have to duck a bit. I mean, a long time ago, we looked at something at Heart of England, didn't we, with a VW cab. And you do feel like you've got to get down into the cab when they... That was the new venture, wasn't it? Yeah. First one we sort of looked at. Yeah. I like, thought it was like a car, but yeah. you could sleep in it. But it's quite cosy in here once you're in here. 
See, I didn't know what a VW bully was. No. And that canal, um, one we stayed at at Essen, yeah. they had pitches that pitches said they were for, for bullies. For bullies, and I yeah. thought, what? What's that? But it, it is one of these. It is one of these. And here's the VW cab here. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like this. Not too sure what's going on up here, but I think it's a, a bed of some sort. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's one of these pull-out things, isn't it? It's, it's uh, attached. Oh, it's attached, seat, yeah. seat belt thing. Probably the other side oh, as well. I can't do it one-handed, but no. No, it probably pulls out, doesn't it? So, it looks like a single bed. Yeah, so it pulls yeah. out. And stretches along. You've got another mattress there, so presumably it comes out here. Oh, it comes so out I'm, there. Yeah. So it's for a, a child, I would have thought. It's not for me, I don't think. No. Great big telly they've got in here. Yep. Fridge again on the, on the side here. They've got this idea, obviously, that sitting outside you want to be able to grab a drink. Mm. You need a double door. <laughs> You've got two. Yeah. Quite a simple little hob. Yeah. This would be your sink, on not it? Yeah. Yeah, a little sink. Yeah. No cooker in here. No. But, uh, again, no, German that's specification. That's quite nice, cutlery drawer. Yeah. And there's your. Uh, Bed. Yeah, so it's a tour of van, 500 MQ, 2025 van station. Do you want to so, have a look in the washroom, Joe? Well, I'm just. So the bed is here. Yeah. And then it's sort of half a bed here. Yeah. Well, what you've got is a fold-up thing here. Isn't yeah. It? This that's right. It actually comes, comes out. out. Yeah. This is what we noticed with yeah, a lot of them, didn't we? It's couldn't figure out clever. how to how to do it. No. I don't. Have a look at the, the washroom. Door. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of this you'll be able to see. It's quite dark in here. But uh, it's a reasonable, yeah, I mean, it makes a reasonable size shower. Well, very good size shower, actually. You've got some fold out door things. Um, a bit like a Lego kit, really, isn't it? Pull out sink as well. Kind of got some lights. Oh, there we go. We've got some lights. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Toilet's okay, it's not on a plinth or anything. Yeah, you've got some. I've got to get in there. Yeah, that's for pushing your sink back in, isn't it? I can't do it one handed again. But all of this drops down onto the floor when you're travelling, or when you're sleeping rather. Alright, to form the, to form the bed. Of the bed. Yeah, and, you, and all, all you do then is you just fold that cushion over there, and you've got a bed. And you've still got access yeah. to the, the toilet. toilet, which yeah. is what we mainly need at night. Well, that's right. Then that's in right. the day, you put yeah. it back for the shower. You've got some cupboards yeah. at the back there. Yep. Uh, I think it's good. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a little bit cosy, isn't it? But I'm not sure you need this. I would have preferred it if it just got storage up there. So I suppose you've got to stand on on We've this. Got a step there, have you? Yeah. I think that's a step. Yeah, it's a sort of a narrow yeah. step. Yeah. Is there access to the garage then, Joe? I don't. Um, well, not You'd with have a to step. Move a step out of the way. You lift it up. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of folds up. up. Just, oh, it folds up. Okay. Yeah, it folds up like that, and then. So that's not your garage, oh, is no, it? No, it's just a cupboard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, it's it, right. Okay. So it is a cupboard that goes way back there. That's good. Yeah, I was expecting it to, to get you into the garage, but it just is a locker under there, and I suppose it goes about as far back there. I'll look in there, but but you could sleep one person in there, couldn't you? Even with a toilet made up. So if there were two of you, one could sleep over there. In theory, one could sleep up there. I'm not sleeping. You're up not there. doing it. No, she no. says you're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, there's all the specs for you. Diesel heating. Oh, we're heading for hall 20 now. Let's cross it. Oh, right. The Trus uh, Trusco <laughs> stand, and they've very kindly provided us a. No. <laughs> no, they haven't. So, what we've got here is the Trusco 640 SB. Yep. And uh, a fetching there. sort of black, really. Fiat black alloys. Uh, CV640 SB, uh, length 236, 236, length 26, 
No, I can't say it. 636 and 3,500 for birth. Doesn't say what the payload is. This is 64,000 Fiat 2.2 multi-jet, 103 kilowatts or 140 horsepower in Imperial. Bit of a stealth fan, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know if it comes in any other colours. Yeah. Because those other ones are grey. It's on the new Fiat cab. I'm still not sure about this front, but I suppose it will grow on us. Part of the Erwin Heimer Group, Trusco. Yeah. Looks in their motones before, haven't they? They were never in no, the camper never really vans. looked at their camper vans. I mean, it's a pretty standard sort of layout for a camper van. You've got the travel seats here, you've got a table with a fold out thing cab seats it's on six-speed manual we've got a um, storage space up there yeah. locker there controls up here lippet controls and you've got fridge fridge At only the side. one way yeah there's a nice sort of uh, wooden floor here, but uh, Jenny's just being a bit uh, OCD here. She yeah. says the lines don't line up. They don't up. even line up with that bit there. No, no. That's that you know, that would annoy. finicky, but... But uh, there you go. Yeah, quite nice looking uh, cab seats. I mean, bear in mind this price of this van. You don't get many vans for 56000 That is a very comfortable seat. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these days, 56,000 seems like a bargain, doesn't it? <laughs> We've got going on right here. Oh, yeah, so the electric's under there. It looks like there's a bit of under, under table oh, storage, storage there, but you can't lift it because they've got table mm. in the way. Yeah, that's right. Let's have a look at the washer room first. I'm always a little bit worried about these doors. Oh, he's got like a, he's got a rubber stop there. Okay. All right, so we've got duckboard on the floor it's on a bit of a plinth um, so you know if height is an issue that could be a problem uh, quite a simple washroom you've got the oh that's for holding your toilet thing simple lockers yeah just practical space i suppose got shirt and sh oh, can't get my teeth in curtain shower Shower curtain, even. And apparently, it's single beds at the back. Single beds? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. There's your fridge controls there. The fridge is there, and your fridge controls are there. How strange. Yeah. Tilt and swivel. Little rack thing there. Nice little touch that. Yeah, you reckon these are single beds then? Yes. Okay, well, it's, this is made up as a double, that. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's made up as a double at the moment. Yeah. Okay. But it's good space. It really is good space there. I mean, obviously, you've got a massive sort of cutout here, so as long as your feet fit in there, the other person on that side would be okay. I never think a cross would be wide enough, long enough for you, but. No. And you've got the lights on a sliding track. Quite a nice size locker, quite long. Two either side. No, quite like this. A little step, just a tiny little step to get into the bed. I mean, if you like me, you probably wouldn't need that, but if you like Jenny, you might. Yeah, and even then, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Do you want to just give it a go? Oh, it's under. I was, thought it just folded out. Just go on, put your foot on it. You don't have to get in. Well, what's the point of me putting just see foot if, on it then? Just see if you could get in from there. Yeah, because it's not that, it's not that high, is it? No. So no, no I probably could just stand on that and get in. Yeah, okay. 
I suppose yeah, I mean, the idea is if you use it as single beds, then yeah. you then you just get into bed. Then yeah. I suppose. I suppose they're competing against things like the oldest CV uh, 140. Yeah, because um, they called it CV, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 That's a nice alternative. They've got cab blinds in there. And they've got the. Mm. I also quite like the Etruscos. I'd look yeah. at their motorhomes, don't we, quite a bit? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. It's a little bit slippy, that, what you said. Is it? All right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's no, there's no sort of off road pretensions about it. Right? This is a, a nice, simple camper van. So, this is the Rapido i66M on a Mercedes A Class. And uh, distinction I66M. Let's have a look at the specs. What? You're right. Got a table leg heater. A table leg heater. 